Okay, so the final point I need to make is that composition is key. It's all about how you compose your shots that defines the aesthetic for the film. And with that said, uh, I'll give you the final groups of the project. So in group one, we've got Freya, Gio and James. Uh, in group two, we have Hannah, Josh and Lucas. And in group three, we have Heath, George, Matty and Grace. Is everyone happy with their groups? Yeah. 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 Everything fine, Grace? Yeah, all good here. Okay, well, I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Make sure to bring your ideas. This project is a big part of your overall business. I don't want to hear it, Matty. I, I just came to check if you were alright. I was just going to ask if we could talk. Can we go outside? So, what did you want to talk about? Well, since we're going to be working on the same project together, I am... Um... I just... I don't want it to be awkward. I'm not going to make it awkward. Okay. I'll... I'll see you tomorrow. You know... You had a great idea earlier. About the camping trip? Maybe share that idea tomorrow? Okay. Matty? I'm free to talk tonight. It's just a talk. Can I come to yours? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you at seven. Okay. It's just a talk though. So don't get your hopes up. Yeah, of course. Of course. Just just a talk. Sophie, what are you doing here? Matty invited me. You have no idea what you've done to him, do you? You just sit there in class making him feel worse like he's murdered someone. Proud of yourself then? You happy now? What's going on here? I didn't even What's do anything here. I invited her, okay? It's fine. It's fine. Don't fuck him over. Come on in. Ray? 
Christ. Grace. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. I I'm sorry about Sophie. She's just, she's just too protective sometimes. House seems quieter than it used to be. So, what happened to Luke in the end? I never checked in. His mum got worse. Shit. Moved out the other week. He said he wanted to be with her. Fuck, I'm sorry to hear. It's fine, it's, it's fine. It is what it is. The house was too small for four people anyway, so I guess it's for the best. Although, Andy's never really around anymore. So it's just me and Sophie. Where's Andy? Got a girlfriend? I don't know why I'm here. Okay. I think I still hate you. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I just don't know what to say. I thought I did. But now I'm here, I don't. Go. What, what, what happened between us? Excuse me? Well, was it something I had done? Was it something you had done? Yes, Grace. Please help me figure this out. Are you trying to annoy me? No, of, of course not. Just some clarity. I came here for clarity. And you're asking me for it. Well, you're the one who moved on pretty quickly. I didn't move on. I tried to, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't! Well then, let me help you. Please tell me what happened. You know what you did. What I did? Yes, what you did. I don't know. Yes, you do! I don't know! Do you think I'd be okay if I knew? just trying to figure this all out for myself. I'm trying to figure out why people leave me the fuck alone, especially you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I've never done anything to hurt you. Why would I? I've been hurt before, and you, you knew that. You knew that. Can I have a drink?
thanks. Do you remember this song? It was a nice day. Freezing though. Look, I, I just, I just want to be clear with you. You know, um. I thought you cheated. Emma told me that she saw you go coffee with a girl. She said she could see the way you were talking to her through the window. There was so much pain in my body at first. An endless feeling of anger. I wanted you to feel the pain I felt, the anger I felt. And then it just turned to nothing. Just lost. I felt nothing. I didn't want to believe it. But everyone just convinced me that reality is true. Looking back, it's obvious that it wasn't true. I know how much you love me. Otherwise, your hands wouldn't be shaking like that. It's just not the person you are. You're not a bad person. But the thought of you kissing someone else, well, it just... It just stings. It sticks with you. I'll never forget that day on the beach. I remember going to lunch before with you to that cafe and you got that god awful croissant. <laughs> you had a tea, I had a latte, and you called me your basic bitch. <laughs> you were wearing that white shirt that you got from the charity shop and that same old denim jacket. And you were wearing that red dress and a coat that clearly wasn't keeping you warm. I remember feeling so nervous before I saw you that day because I knew I was falling in love, and that feeling scared me, knowing that I was going to love someone else, and well, trying to love myself. But when we stepped onto the beach, and you gave me your earphones, and you gave me that look, and she said it all. I knew that I was okay with this. That I can do this. I remember that look. I wanted to say it so badly, but I couldn't. But that look was enough. So I just took your hand and we danced. Wow, so cliche. 
I like cliche. I guess this is the hardest part. How so? Because I guess I will have to try and let go for now. And I never did. And maybe I never will. But I will try. And we'll probably never be the same again. But... What? I won't ever forget you. <laughs>